Hey guys! I'm going to talk a little bit about my watercolor sketches uh, that I did um, yesterday for May the 4th. And if you're not a Star Wars fan, May the 4th is Star Wars Day. So I had these sketches from almost a year ago. Um, the line work I did when we were living in uh, Virginia. And I've been wanting to kind of do something with them. I didn't really know what. I wasn't gonna probably, probably sell like prints or anything of them, but I just, I, re I really like um, science fiction, like Star Wars, Star Trek. Those are the kinds of things I grew up on. So to make a couple pieces based off of those, um, the Star Wars movies was kind of cool. So yeah, anyways. Um, I had a lot of fun painting these. There was, uh, I kind of just didn't really stick to like an accurate like color palette for you know whatever the reference was originally, but just kind of used. I mean, the whole thing was like a take, a take on it um, using my style and my color palette that I typically use. So, uh, yeah, I ended up selling these on Instagram. Um, they're all sold, sorry. <laughs> if you don't follow me over there, you should. Uh, Naomi Van Doren, just um, look me up. And they sold out in about an hour, I want to say, to a collector and then now a new collector. So, And here's the other, I had four I did. Well, it's the fourth, so I felt like I should do four. Um, these ones were a little bit trickier. I had a, like a lighter kind of wash over a lot of these. I didn't really want to go too dark into, I mean, it, that's typically me with watercolor. Anyways, I don't like to go very dark. So I'm using my new Daniel Smith watercolor paints. Um, they're a lot of fun. I'm really, really happy with how they kind of move around on the paper. They mix really well. They have some really great um, like granulation, those types of things. I'm getting more more vibrant colors quicker, I guess if that makes sense. The watercolors I was using before, and I still have a few of them in my palette, are uh, the Winsor Newton Pan watercolors, and those are fine. Uh, there's just a few that are that are left, um, but it's because they're pan watercolors. I've never been able to get the vibrancy that I can get now with these Daniel Smith paints that were originally in a tube and I've just put them into a little pan. Anyways, that's all and I hope you enjoyed this. More soon. Bye.